Hi, Dr. Kasuli here. I'm going to share with you a collection of videos that was put together during my open heart surgery and also afterwards in the recuperation process. My healing was fast and it was simple. And maximum healing is possible in a very short amount of time if you know the secrets and the procedures. Hopefully this information helps you or a loved one going through a similar fate of open heart surgery or valve replacement surgery in particular. We're going in. We're going in. Strong Spartan style. No fear. God's got this. That's it. That's the OL. Show them how Spartans fight in there, bro. I don't have my shield and my sword, but I'll do my best. <laughs> I'm sure they can give me something. Yeah. Do oh. Spartans wear cool hats like this? I have a sword. Do you want you a sword? You have a sword? Give yeah. me a sword. Oh, sorry. You're gonna love this. <laughs> this is great. Sword. This is my son's bubble sword that How I left. How am I going to lead into my... surgery with this? Yeah. How am I going to lead into surgery He left it at someone's house and they brought it to me. So you luckily should, I have a sword you, today. You should be I'm nice supposed to, to take, work. It's I'm supposed to lead sword. myself into surgery with this. Yeah, you got it. How is this Spartan? This is my Spartan shield. It matches with you. It's a set. Onward. 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 Let us just make sure. It's a surgery. No, this oh, is without any medication. And no drugs yet, yeah. <laughs> no, you have drugs yet, yeah, babe. This is all natural. I'm having a life. Let's get, let's get this show. The tired soldier. The tired oh. Spartan. Oh, the battle's going You're already down. Down. Oh, oh, no. Oh, yeah, it's a little more. <laughs> Uh -oh. right. Traffic jam. Onward. Traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> Traffic jam. All right, brother. Stay strong. You gotta push yourself just a little bit every day. Can't let yourself slide backwards. All the mental thinking and the meditation that I've actually been able to be blessed and able to do and understand how this world works, how you're thinking, most importantly, but how you're thinking and feeling connected. Very important to understand that when you're healing, it constitutes love. Love for yourself and love for others. Love for the universe, love for God, and the connection, the inner connection between all, all of those aspects. This and this drives everything else. It well, feels like you got run over by a truck. Yeah. And it, all, all I can say is this is like ground zero. It can only, it'll only get, each day will be a little bit better. Like tomorrow will okay. be better than tonight. And then I'll be able to walk around? Yeah, tomorrow morning, we're gonna kind of rest the rest of the night. Right now it's like 10 o'clock. And then maybe around, Already? what's that? Where did the time go? Where did the time go? Right? You're on out. We want you to be active. Yeah, mobility is the next goal for tomorrow. With healing, it's important to know that you're going to go through a metamorphosis, just like a caterpillar and a butterfly. It's a normal part of the process. To not want the metamorphosis means you don't want the healing. If you want the healing and the metamorphosis, you don't want the change. And that means you're afraid of growth. So don't be afraid at all going forward with any kind of change to improve oneself. Blood. Your first yeah, time first getting up, again. that can be a little bit scary because you don't know what to expect. All right, Speedy Gonzalez, I can hardly walk backwards this fast, you know. You're doing so good for you. Yeah, he is. Day one. <laughs> Everywhere you go, you got a fan club, man. What do you feel? Feel good. Yeah? What about in your chest? Are you just, feeling? Just, yeah. Just tight. Everything's tight. Remember, slow the race, okay? Yeah. Don't try to push yourself too hard these first couple of days. You got a thumbs up? Right. Do you want the teddy bear? No. So hold on, she has to squeeze it. Sometimes it helps with the chest pain, like a splint. They didn't tell you I'm a Spartan. Oh, what? <laughs> they didn't tell her I'm a Spartan. No! Well, I need a teddy bear. <laughs> All right. 
one more practice, or this is the real no. thing? Real thing. All, All right. right. Real thing. Ready? So take some nice. So one, two, three. Hold, 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 hold. Okay, and breathe. Good. <sighs> Good job. Here, are sure. you okay? Yeah. Okay. Good girl. Huh? Yeah, you're doing great. Sorry, I know this is not fun. Here I am, right after getting out of the hospital. And I kind of insisted to get out as soon as possible because the majority of my healing is to happen outside the walls of the hospital, not really inside them. As soon as they do the excellent job of getting me all set up, I got to take it to the next level. And just made an awesome shake with tons of strong nutrients and uh, phytochemicals. <laughs> Did a fine job, look at that. I'm also at my sister's place, I'm not at my place. I mean, when you're getting this kind of, this kind of uh, work, you need to have somebody that can help you kind of manage your day-to-day -day stuff because it's very difficult until you get your yourself uh, situated. Uh, walking around is hard. Uh, breathing is definitely hard. Uh, uh, and you feel like, take a few steps, it feels like you take a, took a mile. So, the name of the game right now, go very slow. Lots of nutrition, tons of good sleep positive mental attitude, a gratefulness for being alive. <laughs> That's number one. <laughs> this is my second time around. But a gratefulness, it definitely takes you throughout all the difficult parts of this uh, ordeal. I want to thank also all the people, prayer group, all my friends, family, patients. It's an amazing job supporting me because I am a result <clears throat> of what can happen. Fast recuperation, fast healing when everyone's mind is structured and set on a point. God does work miracles and he works them through us. I, I, I just can't believe how well I'm healing, how quickly I'm healing. My scar is looking really good. Not bad. Chiropractic cervical adjustments, uh, specifically in the occiput C1 and C2 region. It really opens up everything. It sends power to the rest of your body. And I have to admit, it is one of the, possibly the prime reason I am so active. And after the ICU with meditation, meditation alone, I was able to cut down to zero, zero painkillers. I told my body, you can deal with this, you can take care of this. And I, I understand that not many people are a master at, at this type of meditation. I don't expect everybody to be able to do this right off the bat, you know? Study, come to seminars, read the books, get training and then maybe you'll be able to do it as well. Now week five and I'm feeling amazing. Still keeping up with my health shakes. I'm keeping up with my positive mental attitude and obviously taking it easy, relaxing and lots of sleep. Big thank you to my surgeon, his staff and the whole ICU unit. Wow, you guys are miracle workers. Thank you so much for everything. I asked my surgeon to go ahead and take some pictures of what's going on inside of me and, and how they did the surgery. Now, if you have a weak stomach, you might wanna fast forward a little bit on the video. So here it is. What you're seeing is the valve, the old one. They put a new one in, obviously. After 10 years, this one's scarred up. Now on the front, you don't see it much. There's a little bit scarring, but on the back, there's a big ring of scar tissue that actually limited the flow of blood. And that's why I had my symptoms again and it was time for another surgery. But then another bigger issue was the uh, aneurysm that was happening right above the piping. In this picture, you see the new tube that they actually sewed my my tissue to, and this is connected to the, the new valve. And in this picture here, you're looking down into the valve. And that's pretty miraculous that they're even able to do something like this in this day and age. <laughs> I hope you didn't uh, puke seeing all that, uh, that redness there and the blood and the heart, all the tissues. But that's what we look like inside. That's what we all look like inside, regardless of skin, regardless of race. Well, that's it. I hope you found the video informative. Now, if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to reach me at my website right here. I'm Dr. Theo Kasuli, and I wish you maximum health and happiness.